Hi all, Electric Crew here. Welcome back. While going through one of my backup drives, I came across some old photos of a couple solar projects that I had built around 2007. One of them was a 32 foot long solar air heater panel. The fan was powered by two Siemens 20 watt 12 volt panels that I had scavenged. I ducted the inlet and outlet in through the windows in the bottom of the basement level. I used this for around 10 years, but I removed it some years back before I retired along with some other things that I had did outside because I didn't want my family to have to disassemble or mess with any of this and I didn't want to do it when I got older. So I wanted to talk about the construction and how I built it and it practically cost me nothing because I scavenged a lot of the components and had some things given to me. So let's take a look at this and at the end I have a chart showing you the temperatures uh, at the beginning of January in 2008 that I had took. I framed this up using some metal construction studs that had been given to me by a friend and also some discarded ceiling track from a drop ceiling that had been removed from a building and I used some six inch aluminum siding on the inside. Now I had to purchase the insulation what I, which I put on the back of it uh, silver side up of course and you can see where I started mounting the aluminum and siding sheets and I screwed it in over top of the ceiling track which the air would flow is going to flow behind the aluminum and siding over top and the insulation between the two there, there was uh, about a Oh, a gap of uh, about an inch and a half there, the height of the ceiling track runner. I mounted two pieces of angle iron to support the bottoms of the inlet and outlet chambers. And also, if you look close, there are three quarter inch spring steel L brackets, one at the end of each inlet and outlet chamber and one in the center to hold the whole thing up while we attached it to the house there. You can see the airflow where it comes out of the air outlet and flows up through the side and then it will go in across the back of the aluminum in, inside which I had painted black, flat black with the, uh, you can buy that solar black, flat black paint. It, it kind of helps the uh, absorb more heat from the sun and then out the other end I don't have the hole yet for the outlet into the window where the uh, heat's going to come out. The windows were removed from a house that was being torn down. They were dual pane sliding windows that was on the back of a sun porch so I just mounted them over the frame of the whole panel just screwed them in and did that after we had mounted the uh, framework on the house because it would have been too heavy and pretty unstable to carry out there from the garage because those windows were quite heavy. Now here's a close-up of the airflow where it came out of the fan out of the house and up into the panel. Now if you remember I mentioned I split that that uh, chamber in the back into two sections. And what I did here, as you'll notice, you'll see I angled uh, some of the siding that I had cut and built angled pieces to give the air a, a real nice flow to go around the bends up into the panel and out the back and out the other side. The project turned out pretty nice. It didn't look too bad. But of course you couldn't see that section of the house from the road so it didn't matter a whole lot. 
but the sun would shine directly on that panel most of the day. Here it's getting towards evening, so you get a little getting some shade there as the sun moved on. The two solar panels that I used were Siemens ST20. They're pretty vintage. They were removed from traffic control and I got them from a local contractor that they were being scrapped, so I nabbed a number of those to use for some solar projects. This is the charge controller box that I had put together. It has a small 12 volt 15 amp charge controller and I had four used 6 volt AGM batteries, gel, gel batteries, that I had put in a series parallel configuration to power the blower fan when on the cloudy days when the sun wasn't outputting enough on the panels the batteries just took over and kept the fan running at 4 rpm. I had the control panel sensor turn on the blower when the internal temperature of the panel reached approximately 95 degrees and I had a 12 volt damper connected that was controlled by the panel that would also open so it would close when the temperature dropped, keeping the cold air from migrating down that ductwork. And I had it ducted into the uh, register that I mounted in the floor of the living room. And it kept things nice and snug in the wintertime. This is the ductwork from the outlet of the blower fan into the inlet of the air panel. I tried some different fan configurations on this. Uh, but I had trouble getting the proper flow through there. So I ended up using this uh, Dell fan from a Dell server, which ran at 3,800 RPM and put out 259 CFM. So that worked pretty good. Here's a temperature reading taken at 11.55 a.m. And the outlet of the panel is... 117 degrees. Here is a chart of the panel temperatures taken on January 3rd, 2009. Now the panel would have turned on around 92 to 95 degrees, but I started charting this at 11.30 a.m. You can see by 11.30 a.m. it was already up putting 112 degree air. Then about 12.30, 12.40 p.m. it had peaked at 128 degrees. Then it slowly dropped over the afternoon till the panel shut off approximately at uh, 2.50 p.m. So this was a nice project. Uh, I was just curious of how these panels worked and what it would do if you had a number of them built into your house. So if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them. And God bless and have a good day.